In this question, we're given two nth terms that represent different sequences, and we're asked to find the first four terms and the tenth term of the sequences. Our first sequence, we're given the nth term n squared plus 3. So what this means is that for each term, we take the number of that term, we square it, we times it by itself, and then we add 3 to whatever we get. So for part a, we're asked for the first four terms. So for term number 1, we replace this n with a 1. We do 1 squared plus 3, of 1 squared is just 1, plus 3, we get 4. For our second term, we now replace this n with a 2, so 2 squared plus 3, 2 squared gives us 4, we add 3, which gives us 7. Our third term, we now replace this n with a 3, so 3 squared plus 3. Well, 3 squared is equal to 9, and then we add 3, gives us 12. And then our fourth term, we replace this n with a 4, so n squared plus 3 now becomes 4 squared plus 3. 4 squared gives us 16, we add 3, and we get 19. So that's our first four terms, 4, 7, 12, and 19. Now we're asked for our tenth term. Well, all we have to do now is just replace this n with a 10. So we do 10 squared plus 3. 10 squared gives us 100. Add 3. We get 103. So our tenth term is going to be 103. Part B, we're asked to find the sequence 2n squared. So what this means is that for each term, for the number of that term, we square it first and then we multiply it by 2. We could also write this, say, as 2 times n squared, or even as 2 times n times n. So part b, again, we're asked to find the first four terms and the tenth term. So we've got 2n squared. Let's just put this here as a reminder of what our sequence is. So for our first term, we replace this n with a 1. So it's 2 times 1 squared. Well, 1 squared is just 1, so 2 times 1, we get 2. For our second term, we replace this n with a 2, so 2 times 2 squared now. 2 squared gives us 4, so we've got 2 times 4, which is equal to 8. Our third term, n is equal to 3, so 2 times 3 squared. 3 squared gives us 9, so we've now got 2 times 9, which is equal to 18. And then our fourth term, we replace this n with a 4. So 2 times 4 squared. 4 squared is equal to 16. So 2 multiplied by 16 equals 32. So there's our first four terms. Put them back in our boxes. 2, 8, 18, and 32. And then finally, we we'll ask for our tenth term. So we replace this n with a 10. So 2 times 10 squared. Well, 10 squared we saw before was equal to 100. So 2 times 100, which is equal to 200. So our 10th term for the sequence is going to be 200.